The Fatal Flaws, Navigating the Startup Minefield The alluring world of startups is often romanticized as a path to instant riches and overnight success. However, behind the glitz and glamour lies a harsh reality, the majority of startups fail. But why? What are the common pitfalls that lead these promising ventures to stumble and fall? One ran out of cash slash failed to raise new capital, 38%. This is the most common reason for startup failure, and it can be caused by a number of factors, such as overspending on product development or marketing, not generating enough revenue to cover costs, failing to raise new funding from investors, no market need, 35%. This means that the startup's product or service does not solve a real problem or meet a real need in the market. This can be due to poor market research or to developing a product that is too innovative or too niche. Two got out compete, 20%. This means that the startup was unable to compete with other businesses in the market. This can be due to a number of factors, such as having a weaker product or service, having a higher price point, or not having a strong marketing strategy. 3. Flawed Business Model, 19% This means that the startup's business model is not sustainable. This can be due to a number of factors, such as having a high cost structure, having too low of a margin, or not having a clear path to profitability. For regulatory-slash-legal challenges, 18% This means that the startup faced unexpected regulatory or legal challenges that it was unable to overcome. This can be due to a number of factors, such as operating in a highly regulated industry, or not having a good understanding of the applicable laws and regulations. 5. Pricing-slash-cost issues, 15% This means that the startup's pricing strategy was not effective, or that its costs were too high. This can be due to a number of factors, such as not understanding the competitive landscape, or not being able to manage costs effectively. 6. Not the right team, 14%. This means that the startup did not have the right team in place to execute on its plan. This can be due to a number of factors, such as not having the right mix of skills and experience, or not having a good team culture. 7. Product mistimed, 10%. This means that the startup's product was launched too early or too late. This can be due to a number of factors, such as not understanding the market, or not being able to develop and launch the product on time. 8. Poor product, 8%. This means that the startup's product was simply not good enough. This can be due to a number of factors, such as poor design, poor functionality, or poor quality. 9. Disharmony among team slash investors, 7%. This means that there was conflict within the startup team or with investors. This can be due to a number of factors, such as different visions for the company, or personality clashes. 10. Pivot gone bad. 6%. This means that the startup pivoted to a new product or market, but the pivot was unsuccessful. This can be due to a number of factors, such as not doing enough research, or not executing the pivot effectively. 11. Burned out slash lacked passion, 5%. This means that the startup founders burned out or lost their passion for the business. This can be due to a number of factors, such as the long hours and hard work required to run a startup or facing repeated setbacks. Many startups fail due to a combination of factors. For example, a startup may run out of cash because its product has no market need, or because it is facing stiff competition from other businesses. Startups can increase their chances of success by carefully planning their businesses and by being aware of the potential pitfalls. It is also important to be flexible and adaptable, and to be willing to pivot if necessary. Startup Failure Prevention Checklist 1. Understand the market. O. Identify your target market and their needs. O. Analyze your competitors and their offerings. O. Validate your product market fit. 2. Develop a strong business model. O. Define your revenue model and cost structure. O. Calculate your target profit margin. O. Establish a clear path to profitability. 3. Build a cohesive team. O. Identify the core competencies required for success. O. Assess your team's strengths and weaknesses. O. Evaluate team dynamics and address potential conflicts. 4. Manage finances effectively. O. Develop a detailed budget and track expenses regularly. O. Manage cash flow carefully to avoid overspending.
O. Explore funding options if needed. 5. Launch your product or service successfully. O. Clearly define your product's value proposition. O. Prioritize features and functionality. O. Conduct user testing to refine your product. O. Develop and execute a comprehensive launch plan. 6. Adapt and grow. O. Monitor market trends and competitor activity. O. Gather customer feedback and continuously improve your product. O. Be willing to pivot if necessary.